Yesterday, I spent about $25,000 on an NFT, or at least I put a bid on one, and today I want to talk about what the hell am I doing. So, I'm not going to hide it. As you can see right here, you can see that I placed a bid of 18,000 ADA on an NFT. And this isn't just any NFT, this is a Dead Pixels, and it is one of the epic tiered NFTs. Now, you probably don't know what any of that means. You might have not even heard of dead pixels in your life before well lucky for you i'm gonna go over why would i value this for 18,000 ada and why do i think that this could potentially pay itself off in a year just in case that 25,000 canadian dollars goes out the window overnight somehow though if you want to consider staking your ADA and earning passive ADA to not only support me, support decentralization, and earn your own money, please consider doing so with the Jack Stake Pool. That being said, let's head over and let's talk about why am I so interested in this project here, Dead Pixels. And why the heck am I spending $25,000 on the project no matter how optimistic I am about the outcome? Well, in order for you to fully understand what I'm talking about in this video, there are going to be some prerequisites of knowledge. And that is that five months ago, when this project minted, I experienced it. I went for it. I made a video with the creator uh, the day after I experienced the mint. It's really cool. I did a live stream on it, um, me using the system. And it was awesome, right? interacting with the mint seeing which nft you're going to get and trying to snipe certain ones was really cool and it was very innovative at the time and it, it still is to me one of the most innovative things i've experienced in an nft drop now i've talked to the creator af quite a bit and the innovation is not going to be stopping at the line of the drop it's going to be continuing far, far more and far past the original drop and going into something which I think could grow exponentially and also in turn result in the price of the NFTs on the collection that everything's based on growing exponentially as well. Keep in mind, although I just put a bid on a dead pixel for $25,000 or 18,000 ADA and I already do have a bunch of dead pixels. I didn't just go ahead and buy them all for the current 2200 floor. All the dead pixels I, I have and I'm going to show you, they're going to be netting me a lot of royalties, over 50,000 royalties in ADA a year with a certain player base, which is very specific and speculative. So, of course, um, proceed with caution. Definitely not going to say go buy 10 dead pixels and you're going to be a millionaire. It's probably not going to be how it works. And this is risky stuff. Now, all that being said, most of my pixels, pretty much all of them, I got under 50 ADA, okay? So when we're looking at this video, keep that in mind. I didn't go ahead and just spend a bunch of money on all of my pixels, but now when I'm jumping into an 18,000 bid, now I'm diving a bit more into the risky area. But to me, I'm going to explain why I think this is worth it with a few simple metrics from the royalties calculator. First off, I want to show you my current royalties based on my 16 pixels. And this used to be 18. I gave away one and the other one disappeared into the void. Let's just say that. But yeah, 18 pixels and I have 16. Now, if we go to the royalties calculator, a few things to note. All of this is based on some specific inputs and a 10,000 player base. Okay, if we go to the base table or the attribute table, you're going to see when we scroll over to the right here, players per season, 10,000, season length, 13 weeks, okay? And this is also going to say, hey, each of these items costs this much to forge, and it's going to be forged this many times. So it's not perfect predictions, but it is an estimator based on that player count. So that being said, let's go ahead and see what's going to happen. Okay, right now you can see with these pixels put into my calculator, that's a large number, right? This is my yearly passive income revenue from my current 16 pixels. Now, this is going to make your nipples hard and it probably is not going to be accurate. This is super speculative, absolute speculation, okay? But here's the thing. Here's what I'm feeling right now because this is the point of the channel. This is the point of the videos to just tell you why I'm doing these things. The reason I've put an 18,000 
bid on these. And the reason I also haven't sold these pixels is mainly because of the project's creator, okay? I don't know how to state this, I don't know how to prove this, but to me, AF is someone that I can, I put a lot of belief in, okay? Someone who's done crazy things, and I think will continue to do crazy things. And if not, the risk of me losing 18,000 ADA is far more worth it to me uh, because of the reward I could possibly gain from taking such a risk. Okay, so if you're wondering, what is the reward? Well, yearly, if I have a reptile, which is the one I just bid on, that would net me another 25,000 ADA. Okay, 25,000 ADA, plus I, it also has a goatee. I've already added that in here. Um, and that is another 1,200 ADA per year. And we go back up here, and now I'd be making 104,000 ADA a year if the game has a 10,000 player base. Okay, so can this happen? Yes. Will it happen? No one knows. And this is very reliant on the game being a 7 to 10 out of 10, okay? This is very speculative. But overall, I think in the long term, if the game isn't super amazing right off the go, there's a lot of time to adapt and adjust and increase the quality of the game and make it more entertaining if it's not already. So, yes, in short, this 18,000 bid, this $25,000 bid on a pixel, although it might not even go through, it is a massive risk, but one that I am prepared to take. Also, not only could the pixel potentially pay itself off in less than a year, but if it does that, the price evaluation of the underlying asset is also going to go up bananas. It also has me more intrigued seeing bigger sales come in is putting a bit of pressure on myself to think, hey, maybe I should just up this bid or go buy it outright for 24,000. Yesterday, we had a sale of 150,000 ADA on a pixel. This one is an alien rarer. Uh, if you're wondering, it's rarer than the reptile I bid on, much, much rarer. And if we go ahead and plug into the calculator here, an alien is worth 273,000 a year. So, all of these things are very, very speculative, yes, but I'm seeing a lot of interest, and to be honest, I've never seen such a stronger uh, or more diamond hand community than the Pixels group. Um, obviously, I haven't been in a million communities, and I haven't been with a project this long before ever, because this was nearly my first NFT project that I ever got into, and it's also the only one that I've really, really kept along and kept tabs with other than my own project since then. Now, looking into another reason why holding dead pixels to me is probably a great idea is because there will be community governance. And I'm all about governance, right? Governance is fun, especially in projects that you want to participate in and contribute to. Now, along with this, AF kind of said in a little sneaky way in Discord two days ago, Yes, there will be a DING governance token. Now, if it's any indication of past projects on how they release a governance token, usually this is based on your holdings. It's not just given out for fun. So having more pixels, having maybe rare pixels, because I know AF knows about rarities and he is interested in these things too, will likely have an impact on the amount of DING or the amount of governance token you're going to receive when this drops. And boy, oh boy, if you like speculation on NFTs, just wait until you get into NFT coins, okay? There is examples here of Pavia with almost a million ADA volume in a single day. The price of Pavia at 0.1 ADA. People got airdropped this for free for owning Pavia plots. They made tens of thousands of dollars in Pavia coin by simply holding it. So that's another very bullish reason for me wanting more dead pixels in general not just a hefty bid on a hefty pixel but just having more skin in the game on this project that i really believe in i'm not even going to cover it today but there is a 30 page white paper going over the intricacies of the royalties how it's all going to work how the game's going to work how the forging will work how the seasons will work um, how the ecosystem wraps all together, how the revenue gets split, and much more. So if you want to take a look at that, you can. I'll leave the links all down in the description. But that is another thing that, of course, has made me gain more conviction in the project since reading the whole white paper multiple times. Now, I know I sound like a walking ad here, okay? That's, that's not the point. The point is I'm telling you what I'm thinking right now because if this investment goes to the moon 
or if it goes down to a fraction of what I bought it at, right? I want to be able to look back and see myself talking about this and learn from it either way. You know, that's the point. Also, it's kind of fun to say, hey, look how stupid I was back then or look how much of a genius I am. We don't really know until it happens. So thinking all of that, I do think the lifespan of the Dead Pixels game will last longer than many people think as AF is someone who, to me, seems very, very committed, okay? I don't know how you measure that, um, but to me, from talking to him and from basically seeing that every day what he wakes up and works on is Dead Pixels, it makes me convinced, okay? You don't have to be convinced, but I'm convinced. Uh, now, speaking of play to earn games, we have an example here, Axie Infinity, okay? If you don't know what Axie Infinity is, it is the most well-known Ethereum play to earn game and it's not that complicated. It's not that like, you know, it's not that crazy. There's not too much to it. Um, it's not like a completely polished AAA game, but you can earn a, a wage, especially if you're in an underdeveloped country playing this game. You know, it's only a couple hundred bucks a month playing it full time, but it's enough where you can sit on your computer and earn money, which is very valuable to a lot of people. And in their first few months, I'm kind of comparing this to Dead Pixels, they had an average of, you know, here we have 10,000, 18,000, drop back down. Damn, it's probably all going downhill, right? And then we had 12,000, blah, 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 about 12,000, 50,000, 700, you know, it's not 700,000, 600,000, 900,000, a million. And now we're at, we're at the peak right now. Okay. So if there's 2.7 million people playing Axie Infinity, I can guarantee you if Dead Pixels game pulls off anything close to what Axie Infinity has, and they're on Cardano where the fees are super low, and there is not that much competition on Cardano in terms of fully fledged releases. At least I can't see any yet. There are some that look good and promising, but none are out yet. Dead Pixels has a market here to maybe be first, maybe be second, but be early enough to gain a large enough monthly user base that would pay rewards holders, will keep people from, you know, keep people playing the game and create a cycle of people who get interested in either making money or having fun playing the game. So that to me is super bullish and the potential here, um, say we reach 100,000 monthly users or in a season, you know, something, a fraction of what Axie Infinity is right now, which is asking for a lot, I'll admit it is, okay? But if we reach that, then we, we 10X everything, okay? I don't even have to put it in here. Add a zero, I can. Um, we, we 10X everything, right? Everything gets a bit crazier, um, you know, a million in revenue. So um, things get crazy quickly. Now, will that happen? I don't know. Probably not. But could it happen? Yes. And that is the whole point. Could it happen? Is it probable? Actually, more probable than a lot of things. And to me, that's why I put this bid on a pixel for so much ADA, even if it is a very large portion of my net worth and that's really all the reasoning I have behind it. And yeah, that's the video. But before we go, don't forget you can stake with the Jack Stake Pool to earn passive eight on your ADA and also be cool and stuff. But yeah, thanks for watching the video. I'll see you in the next one. Keep in mind, just to do my mom's basement. Yes, I actually did have $25,000 to spend on a pixel. And still in the basement, uh, but that doesn't matter, okay? Just hit subscribe, hit the like button. And I'll see you in the next one. See ya later, alligator.